Tinkerbell the dog. And I'm her little sister, Belle. And And this this is is our podcast. podcast. Fierce, fabulous, fluff, talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Fierce, fabulous, fluff, talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Happy Friday, Friday, everyone. I'm Tinkerbell. And I'm Belle. And And welcome welcome to Gossip Pops, episode two. I'm so excited. It's a Friday again, and it's episode two. Yes, here we are, one week later from our debut episode. I hope you all are enjoying that one. And we just cannot wait to start this second episode. The week just flew by. We were so busy. The week definitely flew by. I cannot believe it. We actually traveled. You did an amazing job. I can't wait to hear all about it. And just this week was jam-packed. Yeah. And lots and lots of emails. Busy working on that computer. Yes, of course. Those paws were just typing away and making those deals. Yes. So, should we recap about our trip first? Yes, Definitely. I want to talk about Boston. It was so much fun. Yes, yeah, so we arrived um, pretty late on Saturday. Not that late, but, you know, late afternoon, early dinner time. And we, we went arrived to our... in time to eat dinner. Yes, we did. <laughs> and we basically went to our favorite hotel in Boston. It is pet friendly. It is luxurious. It is called the Whitney Hotel Boston. The Whitney Hotel is the best best we run through the halls we take over the place like it's ours and we own the whole thing everybody's so friendly yes and they prepared a suite for us of course which was just oh luxurious and amazing oh my gosh that bathtub was the best yes and they gave us so many presents i don't even know what we're gonna do with all of them because it's just it's just adding to our wardrobe our gorgeous wardrobe we actually got this beautiful diamond necklace it's my first diamond ever yes it was gorgeous we wore it to bed yes we did i didn't want to take it off the champagne was flowing the room service was divine the beds the dog beds Excellent. And my view, every time I sat on my bed, I just stared out my window because we had floor to ceiling windows and we saw everything. Yes, we could see the dogs going out for their walks in the the cold and it was snowing. And the river was frozen. Yes, it was so gorgeous, so divine. And I mean, to see, you know, other, you know, dogs that have to walk outside in that snow. Oh, I was just shivering thinking about it. The great amazing thing was we went there and it was beautiful sunny normal day and then we woke up the next day and it was snowing yes and humans were just like not prepared at all we didn't know it was gonna snow it was amazing we went out for a walk and all of a sudden it was everywhere and it kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter and then the next day everything was covered Yes, and we did walk around a little bit in our human's bag. Thank God they brought that bag. And we got to, you know, go to the shops and see the neighborhood again, which has changed a little bit, but for the better, it was gorgeous. It was so much fun, and there's so much to do there, and the people are so friendly. Yes, everyone at the Whitney just treats me like the diva I'm meant to be treated as. I just love it. I mean, they treat you. And they Pretty give me well because so of much me. <laughs> cuddles. No, they love cuddling me. Yes, they do. They love cuddling us, though. They can't resist my sable-colored ears. <laughs> yes, and I have to say that they added this new bar in the front when you walk in the lobby. It's called the hot, the hot chocolate bar. Oh Did my you gosh. see that? Yes, the hot chocolate bar was so cute. Yes, and I know... Chocolate will kill us, but the humans seem to love it. Like, everyone that came in and out, they were all over that hot chocolate bar. Oh, my gosh. Especially because when you came in from when it was snowing out, the people so go right cold, to the so hot chocolate. So you just want to warm up. I know. It was so cute and so creative. Mm-hmm. And the sign, how it was written, it said hot chocolate bar. It was so cute. Yes, ev- everything about the entire weekend was just luxury and just the finest time. Oh, and the PJs, they gave us PJs and they were these soft, 
cuddly. It felt like a teddy bear on yes. me. And I just love them. I wish I could wear them every day. Yes. Well, you can wear them every day if you want to. I guess, but that's kind of It's not the yucky. greatest fashion, bell, but you know. Yeah. The dress is adorable for Valentine's Day, but human needs to alter it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so anyway, we did go there specifically also to shoot some Valentine's Day content because they decorated the suite not only in luxury goods and gifts and dog beds and everything, but with some Valentine's, you know, balloons and Valentine's decor. And so love. So that was fun. Yes. They so, love us. So it was just <laughs> fabulous to go there when they love us and see love all over our room. Yes. We had a fabulous time. I feel refreshed. Me too. It was just the perfect way to start this busy week. Yes. And just to start the new year, our first traveling tank Bon Voyage Bells trip. And the funny thing, almost exact timing, Human took us to the Whitney Hotel last January, and it was almost the same timing. Yes, I know. So maybe this is going to be a tradition from now on. We start our traveling endeavors in Boston at the Whitney, our favorite hotel, basically. There's nothing like it, but I promised that we wouldn't wait a whole year to go back. Okay, so hopefully we can... Arrange something. This summer, maybe? Yes. Oh, Boston in the summer. Fabulous. Yeah. My first time I went there, we went to the baseball game there. Oh, yes. I remember that. That was so fun. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on, but it was fun. <laughs> I had no idea, but I did have a good time. Yes. Oh, I heard human dabbling, talking about something about Arizona. Yes, that is one of our goals this year, to head to Arizona, because I want to see the Grand Canyon. I want to take my photo in front of the Grand Canyon. I need, I need content. I need fabulousness. I need sunglasses in front of the rocks, the red rocks. Oh, Is the Grand Canyon something you can bring our diamond necklace to? Of course, you can bring anything. I mean, it's more of, you know, I don't know, the 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 active wear scene but oh. of course you will not find me in active wear like that i will be you know dressing it up and making it fabulous and you of course i'll make sure that your outfit works out as well so that sounds like a sunglass place sunglasses yes of course beautiful i love sunglass locations yes so we will definitely try to make that happen this year yeah anyway should we hear about a little bit about what you did yesterday oh my gosh it was i have to admit i'm a little jelly i had to stay home so i did not get to experience the entire you know the whole day but i heard it was fabulous and you did an amazing job bell so i'd love to hear about it it was i just love working it just is the best thing ever and walking onto a set first of all went to Back to Pier 59 Studios at Chelsea Piers in Manhattan, which is my absolute favorite location ever. They have this whole coffee bar outside yes, of the I've studios. Been there. And it's just beautiful and big and spacious and clean and fun. It almost I feels like LA. Yes, it definitely feels like LA. It definitely does. But so you walk into that beautiful Pier 59 Studios on the second floor. You get off that elevator and it's so bright and light because they have big windows. And right away, the reception desk remembered me from the last time. They're like, oh, you're back. Oh, they did? They did. And they said, you're back, you're back. And of course, I said, I love it here. And they were taking some selfies with me. And it was just so good to see them again at the front desk. And then I made the right turn with Human to head to Studio 2, which is where we shot. So the job I shot yesterday was for Hilton Hotels. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> yes, and if you're listening to this podcast, you're finding out first to find out. It was amazing. It was so much fun. And no, Paris wasn't there. How disappointing. No Paris Hilton. No. Oh, how rude. But I had a fabulous 
set family. I had、um, two dads, a sister and a brother, and we did、um, a fun shot on this、Ooh. big, giant, cushy bed. Oh, okay. Really coming into like the modern times. Yeah. And I was naked for that shot. You were naked for that shot. Ah.、Okay. Except for a collar. Oh, okay. And then I did another shot where I am sitting on a rolling luggage cart. Okay. And it was so much fun. The fabulous ones, like with the gold. Yes, the fancy ones. The fancy ones, okay. With the, like,、um, the roundy top kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. And I did that. And I sat on the, the luggage cart, and, and、um, they put me in this striped hoodie, red and white striped hoodie. And then they gave me this blue baseball cap. Okay, so I wasn't a fan of this outfit because it was very boyish. And I said, wait a minute, I'm a girl. And. Oh, yes, that's the job, unfortunately, when you're a model pup. Yeah, so. You'll be a girl, and they decide to dress you as a boy. But, yeah, so. You know, hum- we love all genders. I know. Just embrace it, Belle. Well, I finally did because Human explained to me that acting. Is acting, and sometimes you have to act as a boy or act as a girl. And I understood, and I know that I'm a girl and a diva, so it's okay.、Mm-hmm. But that what happened was then they added these adorable heart sunglasses. Oh, okay. So it was, well, it, it hey, was a, a who knows? Yeah, but here's how it started. So it was I, a gender fluid, gender fluid, but once they put me on. My spot for the shoot on the luggage car, the director said, Take that hat off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then it was just a striped shirt and my heart sunglasses. So I was like, Yes, girl power, I'm back. Uh-huh. But so you definitely wore now these heart sunglasses. What did they, were they like the Taylor Swift ones in the You Need to Calm Down music video? Those kind of? Yeah. Oh. They were really cute and they had like a pinkish color to them and they、Ooh. were just clear. They were really cute. And I didn't get to keep those, but I did get to keep the hoodie. Nice. And it was just so much fun and I made so many new friends and I got lots of kisses and cuddles and selfies and it was fabulous. I cannot wait to see this job. Like, are they going to be, is it billboards? Is it magazines? Do you know anything? Uh, not really, but apparently it's everywhere. Ooh. So I'm like the official Hilton pup. That's amazing. Congratulations, Belle. I'm so proud of you. You're following in my footsteps. Oh, oh no. Paw steps. Paw steps. Or following in my paws. Five paws up. Ten paws up. <laughs> yes. It was great. So now, on to the new week and episode Are two. Are we ready for、yeah. some pop culture, Belle? I have so many stories this week. I just can't wait. So many like divas are just owning pop culture. So, for. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is just one of my favorite stories this week that I thought we definitely needed to talk about.、Um, it's that. Meryl Streep is cast in Only Murders in the Building season three. <gasps> yes, she's joined the season three cast. And the announcement was made by series star Selena Gomez in a video posted on Instagram. And oh my goodness, I saw this on my feed. And it was so cute, so hilarious, just how Meryl, she just pops up at the end and like, waves and、um, she gives Steve Martin a pillow behind his back. And it's just so cute how they announced it.、Um, but it's not known yet if Streep is a guest or recurring or a series regular. But I'm very excited about this. What do you think? Oh my gosh. This is the best news ever. First of all, I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez. I need to meet Selena Gomez. Yes. Second of all. And I need to meet her. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, you're right. You can meet her first. But, <laughs> all right. But, 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 the best news is okay, new person in this amazing building, which I love this show, my favorite. She definitely needs a small dog. That's what I was thinking too, because they have a bulldog on it now. Yes. So, I mean, this is the perfect opportunity to add another dog. Exactly. Oh my gosh. I would love to be on, on that show, acting on that show. That is the best show. We sit there with human and watch and watch and watch and watch. Yes, and just whenever I see that bulldog go into the elevator, I'm like, 
There has to be other dogs in this building. Exactly. Where are they? First of all, it's Manhattan. Everyone, yes, everyone has, has a, a dog. dog. Yes. So why is there only sense. one dog in the building? So I don't understand. Casting office, Selena, Steve. We're here. We're here. We're, we're ready. Maybe you'll use both of us. Yes. Or just one, but it's okay because as long as one of us is on, it's amazing. Yes, it would be amazing. I support you, Belle. I hope you support me if I was chosen yes, to be well, on the show. Yes, well, you did the last job. You shot a Bank of America commercial, and then I was sitting home alone, so I got to be on this one. So maybe on this show, we'll both be on it. Maybe. Yeah, it's fun to work together. Maybe she'll have two dogs. Who knows? But just an idea oh my gosh, out there. Maybe if Selena you're listening, will adopt. If you're listening, casting people of Only Murders in the Building. Yes. Or if you know the casting people of Only Murders in the Building. But what do you know? Like, what... Not what do you know. What do you think about Meryl Streep being cast? Well, maybe she's going to be the next murderer. Hmm. And I think she's amazing, and I think she's going to add so much more to the show, because it got a little... The end of last season was a little... Hmm, sometimes. Oh, I loved the end of last season. Oh, I love the whole show, but... But I think adding Meryl is just another, you know, step up for the show. They just they just keep adding these A-listers. and Icons. I don't know if it's going to be a cameo. I hope it's not just a little cameo. I, I hope it's something more. No, I think she lives there. Oh. I think she's going, going to, to have fabulous. a beautiful apartment. And yes. it's maybe even the, the whole penthouse. Yes, and hopefully she'll cause some drama or they'll oh, be... Oh, definitely. They'll be on to her. Yeah. Definitely. She might be caught with like a knife or a, I don't know, mm. an, a hammer or something. I don't however, know. But I just love everyone however they in the murder show. in that building. She's the best addition. It just rounds out the show, adds another female in there, and it's going to be fabulous. And I just can't wait. Yes, this is going to be very exciting. I cannot wait either. They're shooting right now in New York City, so you never know. Exactly. We're if they here. Need a dog. We're here. Selena, 100%. adopt. Adopt. You can yes. adopt one of us. Mm-hmm. But only for the show. Not for real. Yes. I want to go home to my to my home after yeah. set. Yes. And our Although, pets. Hmm. Hey. Anyway, are we ready? Ready. For the next story? <gasps> Another story. Yes. Yes. So this is a little dramatic, but here we go. So Kelly Clarkson gets a permanent restraining order against two people who wouldn't leave her alone. <gasps> now, here's the here's the deal. Kelly Clarkson now has some long-term legal protection against these two individuals who continued to show up at her house uninvited and caused disturbances. Creepers. Yes. And apparently they even showed up on Thanksgiving <gasps> a couple of times <gasps> to the house. And um, just it was just getting out of hand. And they also took photos of the kids and everything <gasps> that were in a car. So Kelly finally got the restraining order from these people. But oh, it's just that's terrible. I just cannot believe that she had to deal with that. And that's just the scariness of being, you know, so famous. She's I'm glad she took the next step. But what is wrong with these people? I don't understand. She has a family. They have to respect everyone's privacy. You know, sometimes when we're at the airport, some people are a little much. So, yes. But she had to go far further and get that restraining order, which means this was really bad. Yeah, and apparently she got a temporary a temporary restraining order, um, and the person still insisted and just kept coming around okay so, they need to arrest them just, <laughs> just take them away please because that's not good i know and like i cannot imagine if i had someone like that intense every day just constantly coming to my place of residence i mean in the city just you know because we have people coming up to us all the time in the city and everything yes. and we try to be you know, nice, and we we love everyone that comes up to us, takes yes. selfies and everything. It's amazing, but if Human someone actually follows, yes, and 
I love meeting people, but to follow us home or come to our house is just a little scary. So I'm glad that she got the restraining order. Yeah, that's really scary. Mm -hmm. I, I hope they're okay. And I don't know. I hope she doesn't have to relocate and move because that's not good for her children. I know. I don't I don't think she'll have to move. I mean, she has security and everything and now the restraining order. So if they do come around again, they will be arrested. Well, they know who they are. So they know their names. They mm -hmm. know where they live. They should just put someone outside their house or apartment to make sure they don't leave and keep them there. Kind of like jail, but not. Oh, <laughs> well, it's kind of the opposite. So Kelly has someone outside of her house watching. So if they do break the restraining order... They go to jail. They go to jail. Do not pass go. Exactly. Yeah. Go to jail. So go directly. I'm, ha I'm happy that she got that restraining order. Me too. I'm sorry she's going through that. Mm -hmm. But I get it with the paparazzi. These people are a little sometimes. Some people just get obsessed. Yeah. Stop being so obsessed with me. Oh, no. Oh, tink. Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> Maybe they're obsessed with me. <laughs> My sable ears. Yes. So I'm going to have this next story, which I think <gasps> you're going to story. enjoy. Of course. Yeah. We're doing some pop culture. So this is about, you know, some fashion and, of course, about Kim Kardashian. Oh, so, again? Yes. So What did she do now? <laughs> Kim Kardashian. On Wednesday, she actually bought Princess Diana... D I cannot speak this morning. Oh, my coffee. Okay, Kim Kardashian has bought Princess Diana's amethyst cross necklace. <gasps> an iconic piece. And it apparently cost over $197,453. What? It was only ever worn by the princess and following her death, was never seen in public until now. Oh. So, Kim Kardashian has bought this necklace. You know... What do you think? I heard about this necklace, and apparently the princess only wore it one time. Mm -hmm. Yes, apparently. And there were previous owners, apparently, before her. But I just think, first of all, Amazing she has that much money to buy that necklace because I would love some jewels. Yes, and it's actually gorgeous. The The cross is covered in square cut amethysts and accented by circular cut diamonds. Wow. Oh, and there's a photo you can see of Princess Diana wearing it. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's Epic. very big. It's huge. It's and like draping down. See, the that's front. a conversation piece. Like mm -hmm. the jewels we just got from the Whitney Hotels. That's a con conversation piece. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I mean, that's amazing. Go, Kim. I think that's amazing. She was able to purchase it and won it at the auction, right? Yeah, I don't really see any harm in owning this piece. If mm -hmm. I could own a piece of jewelry that Princess Diana wore, I think I might go for it. Or Me too. I might go for the Queen's jewels the or Queen. anything else I could buy. Oh. So, but apparently people online are not happy. Well, no one's ever happy. It didn't happy. go over well. No one's ever happy because Especially people... after the Marilyn dress. Yes. Well, she seems to like items that were someone famous's first so then mm -hmm. she gets them and everybody gets in this uproar because they said she tore the Marilyn dress did she really we don't know but the thing is people are always going to say something because she has a lot of money and can do things and has the mean to do things people are jealous yes and I just think all the more power to her if she wants to buy the necklace yeah. then buy the necklace and wear it proudly yes. maybe we could borrow it mm, that would be fabulous <gasps> Kim if you're listening can we borrow the necklace? Kim, send it over. <laughs> or Ashley will meet you and pick it up in person. But maybe she's planning on wearing it for something special, like Met Gala this upcoming year. Or yes, they're she's going just... to announce the theme soon. Yeah, so I just, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see how she styles it and what she's going to wear with it and all that stuff and where she wears it. Yeah, or maybe she'll just keep it in her jewelry box as something that princess she, yeah the princess's necklace mm-hmm it just sounds so great 
sounds beautiful. So, Kim, we definitely approve. The princess's jewels approved. <laughs> okay. I have another story for you. Yes, one more story? Yes. Woo-hoo. So, Shakira. Now, Ooh. you know who Shakira is, right? She's a shaky singer lady. <laughs> Yes, the shaky singer lady. Oh, Belle. Anyway, she um, allegedly discovered that her husband was cheating because of a jar of jam. (gasps) Wait, what? (laughs) So this is the story. So apparently she realized that her jam was missing, the jam in her refrigerator. And... (gasps) No one in the family likes that jam. The husband, the kids, no one likes it but her. So when it started going missing, Mm. she knew there was something happening. She put two and two together. Yes. Mm. So um, she apparently that's how she found out that the husband was cheating. Wait, first of all, okay, it's not nice to cheat on your wife. But second of all, to bring that person in your house. I know how Dare what the heck? How dare they? And and to eat let the them food? eat the food. Don't eat the food. What is wrong? <laughs> well, there's something wrong with the the woman also because you're in Shaky Shakira's house. You're eating her jam. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. How? I think she wanted Shakira to find out. Yeah, well, I also think maybe Shakira had a couple more hints before the jam incident, but the jam oh. the jam incident probably, you know, sealed the deal. So Shakira was like, oh, definitely, there is someone that's not supposed to be here who is in my house. Oh my gosh. Maybe she had security cameras too and saw her eat her jam. Oh, probably. Extra proof. Maybe. Don't eat Shakira's jam. <laughs> exactly. That's a lesson. If you go somewhere you're not supposed to be, Keep your hands to yourself and don't touch anything. Exactly. And I completely agree. And I'm sorry, Shakira, that you had to go through this. Not but it also, I mean, it, uh, it also apparently made a great song that she just released. Oh, we can shake Sh- Shakira so, again? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so apparently her single, Te Felicito, Ooh. is out. And it's all about, you know, the affair. Oh! <gasps> And about she, the she husband. Sp- she spills the jam. Yes. She spills the jam, she not the tea. She spills the jam and shakes it at the same time. Yes. Her hips don't lie and the jam don't lie either. And the jam don't shake and lie. <laughs> so those are my stories. What do you think? Those are good stories, Tink. Thank you. Thanks for I the I love a little fun. pop drama. Pop drama, pop culture, shaking drama, it's all good. Mm-hmm. So you ready for the pup culture? Of course. Okay, well, this one is really amazing because it's something that I one day aspired to be in, the Guinness World Record Book. Ooh. So there's I a think ch- we all aspire to be in that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We might be one day. Who knows? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, there's a chihuahua named Spike, and they... Gave him their certificate, and he's in the book now as the world's oldest dog. And he's from Ohio. He's the oldest dog living, and he's 23 years and seven days old. And he's certified as the official record holder. And he's a chihuahua. Wow. What's his name again? His name is Spike. Spike, ooh. And he's kind of cute. He's, he's a gentleman. white. He's got ears like me, sort of. Oh my goodness, yes. He yeah. has similar ears to you, Belle. And, and he's small because there's a picture of him with a certificate from the Guinness World Book of Records. And the book certificate is bigger than he is. Wow, I so see Spike's the picture a here. Guy. Oh, Spike. Yeah, go Spike. So he's 23 years old. That's. How old? It's almost 23 and a half. In human years? Well, I don't know because small dogs, they say, are not times seven. Yeah, probably like times five. Times five. Whoa! 23 times five is 115. (gasps) That is pretty elderly, 
I have to say, I hope... And apparently, does does he still get around? Like, is he active? Yeah, does he? he's fine. He's oh, great. Where does he live again? Ohio. Oh, let's Ohio. go visit him. Ohio. 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 <laughs> is that like a cowboy state? I've never been there. No, I don't. I mean, I think there are farms and everything, but huh. I don't think it's a cowboy state particularly. Yeah, so I like cowboys because I've been watching Yellowstone with human and I I love the horses and the cows. Yes, the horses on oh, the cows and just the scenery. It's yeah. gorgeous so to see I that show. So I just didn't know if Ohio was a cowboy. I don't think Ohio is a Yellowstone type state. Oh, as maybe, much. Maybe we maybe can go there. A little bit. Yeah. So anyway, my second pup culture story oh we're already moving okay here we go i think we could go on yes because this is very exciting congratulations spike i hope you live a couple more years like no, for, 100 forever. more years yes yeah uh, go spike wow. so this next one is exciting because we both met this person okay in california at wango tango oh wango tango what a and celebrity filled evening was so nice to us so here it is good news cheryl burke oh cheryl who's divorcing matthew lawrence Mm -hmm. got full custody the court granted her full custody of her dog isabella oh so she must be so happy yeah she said this is a good start to the year. She's so mm-hmm. excited to have full custody of Isabella. And it's just a great thing because she was so nice to us that I know she's a great dog mom. Yeah, and I know that she even said at Wango Tango when she was holding us that she missed her dog. And yes, like she, all, that's all she talked about was yes. her dog and just how much she loves dogs and everything. So I think that this is... Fabulous news. I'm so happy for her. I know Isabella's happy too because mm-hmm. she sat on a bench looking at the sunset with Isabella over the ocean and once she got the great news. Oh, darling. Yeah, I'm so excited for her. Yes, that's a great piece of news. I feel like all bubbly inside. Yeah, they were only married three years, but um, I'm glad at least the... Um, she got custody and there's an adorable picture oh when she got custody of her and isabella sitting at the beach looking at the sunset oh that is a beautiful photo and i just hope you know this just brings joy and happiness for the new year yeah, and, and just i don't for the even future. i don't even know why the dog was part of the divorce problem because she was a gift to Cheryl from Matthew, like a gift. Oh. So why do you want so the dog back if you got her as a gift for Cheryl? I know, but they probably lived together with the dog. So, you know, the dog became a part of the family. So it almost feels like a child. I mean, and she's probably treated as such, like a royal dog, like how we're treated. So, you know, there's probably some attachment well, there. But I think that this is really great for Cheryl, and I'm happy for her. And thank you to the judge, because that was the right decision, because she says Isabel is like her daughter, mm-hmm. and she belongs with her mom. Yes. I don't know, Matthew. We didn't ever meet Matthew Lawrence, but Cheryl's the best. Yes. We're team Cheryl for now. Yeah. Forever. Forever. Yeah, so that that's a... Uh, That was a very happy story. Well, all my pup stories, I like to find happy stories. Of course. Because we bring happiness to so many people, and I know there's so many other pups out there that bring happiness to so many people, too. Yes, and oh, and I just want to remind everyone to go on Instagram because the stories will probably be, um, what's the word? They're going to go away after 24 hours. So... I want, I, I want to make sure that our listeners see some behind the scenes of your amazing Hilton shoot. Oh, yes. So hurry, hurry on there and do that because, yeah, they'll be gone soon. Definitely. And you'll see the amazing studios that I told you about. Yes. Anyway, are you ready for my one last final story? <gasps> yes, of course. Okay. Pop well, culture. Everyone knows about air tags. 
mm-hmm. Apple Air Tags, and they are like the best invention because they put them in luggage, they put them everywhere. Anyway, this one person put it on her dog in California because this way you know where he is. Well, at all why times. don't we have Air Tags then? He's an Australian Shepherd. Well, I don't know. Actually, I think they're a little big for us. Oh, only for big dogs because Australian think- Shepherds are. Very big. big. Like, we're snacks for an Australian yeah. Shepherd. I, I think an air tag is kind of big for us to hang on us. Oh, okay. But Human was talking about just getting them and putting them, like, all over the place. Oh. I don't know how she'll have time to track all this stuff, but whatever she's talking about. Anyway, so this one-year-old Australian Shepherd was wearing the Apple air tag which is a tracking device, in the San Bernardino Fire Department ended up rescuing him and bringing him home because he fell into a flooded storm drain in California and got swept away. Oh my goodness, how horrid. Yeah, so Seamus, which is his name, the puppy's name, was separated from his owner. They were on an afternoon walk actually but in california most people don't have their dogs on a leash so they were on an afternoon walk and all of a sudden he was gone poor seamus he must have been so terrified terrified down in the drainage and the water was crazy and swirling and just dragging him everywhere thank goodness the fire department came in Yes. And smart enough she was to call the fire department yeah she called the fire department and said i know where he is because of the air tag. Exactly. <gasps> so that just proves these air tags are really good because people are losing luggage and finding their own luggage. Mm-hmm. And the airline doesn't even know where their luggage is. But the people know. Yeah, because the people of the know. air tag. Exactly. So the dog is safe. He was found. Thank goodness for the air tag. If you have any pets or dogs or cats that are big enough, Get them an air tag. Yeah. And then even get your own personal belongings air tags because yeah. you won't lose anything. Yeah. They're great for for backpacks. Mm-hmm. Purses. This is not an ad for air tags. We have never no, even used an air tag. We don't even have an air tag, but I'm I'm <laughs> but just happy that Seamus was this rescued. Story, this story makes me want to tell human to get some air tags. Yeah. I mean, it rescued Seamus. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's amazing. He could have been gone. Well, good for him. Yeah. I hope that he's nice and cuddled and warm with his humans and yeah. just feeling oh my safe at home. There, he's so happy. He was and so that had to be won't scary. Go on any dangerous walks like that again. I don't think he's going to want to go near any water again. I wouldn't want to. No way. I don't even want to go near the ocean when the wave comes too close to hit me. Oh, yeah. I'd rather just lay out with my pina colada. Yeah, that was fun. Mm-hmm. We did that. When we're going to do that again, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but now, so that's the end of my pup culture. Well, that was some fabulous pup culture. Yeah, but I know you have something you want to tell us. Yeah, so are we, is this it? Are we done? I don't know. Oh, what a fabulous Friday. So many fabulous stories. So I just want to say that if you enjoyed this podcast, Gossip Pups, make sure to listen, download, like, subscribe. And give us five paws up. (gasps) Yes. And, oh, I have something else to add. Mm-hmm. If you have any questions for us, maybe you want to wear, ask us about what we're wearing, something about our clothing. Maybe you want to ask us about how we travel. Or maybe you want to ask about our favorite food or favorite sunglasses. I don't know. But anyway, you can send us an email at gossippups at gmail.com and ask us anything. And we'll talk about it maybe next Friday. Ooh, so we're going to ask some... Yeah. Oh, no, not ask. We're going to answer... Answer. ...some fan questions. Yeah. Ooh, that'll be fun. A little... A little... I know. Q&A session. Because human is always answering questions on TikTok and on Instagram. And this is just easier and more fun. Yes, and it'll be a live session. And everyone will know... Human got their email. Yes. So we'll pick a few questions next week and hopefully do that as well. Yeah. Gossippups at gmail.com. Easy. Yes. Very easy. Gossippups at gmail.com. Yeah. (laughs) 
This was a fun day. This was a great Friday. Episode two. Yes. And thank you all for listening. And are we calling it? Happy weekend. XOXO. Woof. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip pops. <laughs>